Welcome to the Art of Fallity mod spotlight. This is a mod that adds some stuff to the trinkets and also fabric 117.1. Let's get started, shall we? So Art of Fallity. So Art of Fallity, as you can see, we've got a few different items that are going to be added here. One thing you'll notice in terms of world gem, we have the lunar crystal, the incremental crystal, and the life crystal. And uh, these are going to be crystals that you find similar to amethyst crystals underground, but they'll just be all over the place underground. So, for instance, if we did a game rule here, and we're going to do the random tick speed, bump it up, you can see it's going to be similar to the amethyst. We're going to get these crystals growing out. Uh, another thing as well to point out is if you want everything to look kind of better and cooler, you want to go for the resource packs. This will not be this will not be there automatically. It will be on the left-hand side. So you want to just drag this over to the right-hand side to get the fancy clusters which is included in the download. Okay, so then we can do is get a pickaxe and we're going to be able to get a bunch of these different crystals. Okay, so the, the incremental one there as well. So you can see incremental life and then with the lunar crystal. We'll look at that in a minute, but the one of the most important things, if we look at like what we can do here, you can see we've got this section. So there's a couple of different sections. So what we're going to do here is the first artifact is the ukulele. And this can be found in dungeon loot chests. So we're going to take the ukulele and we're going to take a look and see what that does. So if we take a look at what it's actually going to do, it says when used creates a cloud with a random positive effect under the player. If equipped on the back creates a cloud with a random negative effect under the attacker. Okay, so let's have a look. So if we just right click here and see we've got a random positive effect. In this case, it is speed two. If we then take uh, an enemy, such as a Vindicator. Okay, now we're going to equip our ukulele on our back here. And we're going to take a Vindicator. And take a look at what happens once the Vindicator gets a hit in. <coughs> so you can see the Vindicator has now got a negative effect and they're now levitating in the air. So we take a look at some of what these life crystals do. You can see we can make them into a crystal heart. And if we go beyond that, you can see we've got the Harvest Staff, the Forest Staff, and also the Floral Staff. Okay, let's take a look at the Floral Staff first. So the Floral Staff is just crafted with flowers and the Crystal Heart. So what we can do with this, if we've got some Bomo in the inventory, we can start to plant flowers, and it will go through all the different flowers, and actually give you a little bit of XP as well while you plant them. But what if we wanted to make this even better? Well... You'll notice if we look at the floral staff here, it says tier one at the top. So if we get this thing, the pedestal of upgrading, you can see this is made with obsidian stone, and this actually sort of like works with a lot of the different stuff in this mod. So we take our pedestal of upgrading, and we're gonna put that down here. Now you see, remember these crystals, the incremental crystals. If we take five of these, we can make them into an incremental orb, which is over here. So let's take those incremental orbs, Take a look what happens when we click on this. See, we now have got three of them there. So let's take a look what happens when we now right click on the pedestal upgrade with the floral staff. Take a look at the floral staff. You see it now says tier two. Let's take a look to see what happens now. I think it's giving me a little bit more XP this time. So the final level, I believe, is the nether star. So now we have a tier three. Let's see if anything different seems to happen. Oh, you can't do the same one. Let's just get some more bone melt. Didn't actually realize, but you could just spam it on the same one. So that's definitely one way to get XP. Let's take a look at the other staff so while we're here. So we said that if we go to the life crystals, we need to make the crystal heart. Uh, we have the harvest staff and also the harvest staff and also the forest staff. So we'll take the harvest and the forest. Let's have a look. 
So again with the harvest stuff. So you can just spam it. It's all pretty dependent on having a lot of bone mill in your inventory. Uh, the forest stuff now, let's take a look at this one. Easy plant saplings and fertilizer. Okay. Uh, bone mill in the hot bar, saplings in the inventory. So this is a very quick way. So essentially it, it means you don't have to swap out. You can just go around and plant a bunch of trees. Dungeon chests, you see there is a, this is a curse actually that you get. It uh, makes you slide in all blocks like on ice. So there's a few enchanted books, three I think in total. So you can see you can find the staffs here in a loot chest. All right, so we've now upgraded some of the other items here to the top tier. So you can see we've got to the balloon. So let's take a look at what we've got here. So the balloon, when in hand, it creeps jump, and when equipped, gives slow falling. Right click to fill with dragon's breath. So we've got the balloon when in hand. So you can see with this, these are all tier three at this point. As you can see, we get a jump boost. You can also put this one. Uh, in the head slot, I believe this one is, yeah. So that gives you that. Uh, we have the invisibility cape, which is kind of cool. So you can see, just put a piece of armor on just to illustrate this point. Okay, there's the cape. And if we take a look at our character, press uh, sneak, you can see we're going to disappear completely. Obviously, the, the other trinket slots are still viewable so you probably don't want to have other trinkets on when you do that uh, the Zeus staff summons lightning and can charge creeper can charge at tier two let's take a look at that so we could briefly just charge a creeper just take a look There you go, you can see Creeper charge there. Now this one is not say what it does. I know there is a trinket slot above the shield, which is a hand slot. I have a feeling it's gonna go there when that gets implemented. And the final thing to mention is obviously these uh, these crystal lenses, which are made with the crystal blocks, which obviously, and they need netherite as well. And so now we have a max power beacon. And what does it say? It gives a random positive effect to players. All right, so we take a look at what effects we're going to have here from the beacon. Uh, so this, so, so we take a look at the life crystal lens. Give an additional ten hearts to players and radius if placed on top of the beacon. So let's place this on top of the beacon here. Okay, we may need to actually select some powers here so let's maybe try resistance let's move we get to a level one let's just see so you can see there it is the health boost five so that's the effect that we're getting and you can see the extra 10 hearts there so essentially it needs to be just a level one beacon will be enough you don't need to do this in there we go. All right. So what now? Let's uh, take, so the lunar crystal lens, random positive effect. So we just got fire resistance too. Oh wow, it's actually just constantly giving you a new one each time. That is an interesting one. Yep, it's just constantly giving you a different one on a timer. Okay, the incremental one. So obviously if you had a beacon with multiple beacons, you could put them all on. 
So this should give me, yeah, more powerful haste. And if I then go for... Uh, say resistance. Resistance 2. So yeah, so that covers this mod, so thanks for watching.